Hi folks, thank you for tuning in to the Believe It Show, where, believe it, if I can get through this day with a big smile on my face and true personal independence, just a baby step away, well guess what, so can you. And I, today is Saturday. December 1st in 2019, I am broadcasting from the south side of Jacksonville, Florida. Just a little bit of sexy. And I am looking at you laying in that hospital bed. Let me ask you, how you doing today? What do you mean you're not doing good? Oh, you know what? I don't care if you're not feeling well. You're getting up out of that bed. Today is the day we are going to get things done. What do you mean? you got to get up. Come on. Everybody's depending on you. Grab yourself by the bootstraps and come on. One foot in front of the other. One step at a time. You know the drill. No, I will not do that to my butt. <laughs> hey, that's okay. Buddy, I'll tell you what. You stay in that bed. First of all, what you just told me to do, I can't even do. It's not physically possible, okay? But I'm not going to mess with you. But you know what? You stay in that bed because it's probably the best thing for you right now. But let me tell you about what happened to me. I have been going to physical therapy and I started to walk with my walker and I have learned the proper technique. This whole time, I discovered that I was walking incorrectly. I was walking with my walker out in front of me, leaning over, hunched over, putting all my weight on my shoulders and my hands and on the walker. This was, uh, it was uh, bad for my joints. And at times I'd, I'd, I'd get to the point where I could get up to 20, I used to walk hallways, or 75, about 75 yards, and I got up to 20 hallways and thought, well, that's good, but I, I was doing more damage to my body than good, so I've learned how to walk, and I'm going to share that with you today, okay? So grab a pen, and what I'm about to share with you, you're going to want to go over with your physical therapist or doctor to ensure that what I'm giving you is correct. Okay, so uh, this is just a little disclaimer for you know, legal purposes. But I was told by a professional that the way you walk is you have to stand straight up, you arch your back, pull the walker towards you, and take all the weight off your arms and shoulders. Slow it down. You take those little steps if you have to. And, you know, I thought, well, you know, I'm, I'm not, a, that's like an old guy. You know, I got to walk like an old guy? No. But that's the right way to do it. Because now I'm putting all the pressure on my legs instead of my arms and shoulders like I was before. For over a whole year, that's how I was walking. Because although I was crossing paths with professionals, no one was sharing their trade secrets with me. Or if they have, I forgot about it, which is very possible. So, with that said, that information I gave you, if you have a loved one that is sharing this information, you're sharing the information with Tell them more than just one time, because they won't remember. With a stroke, it's neurological, so your memory is, is compromised. 
So you may forget what you talked about five minutes ago. Make sure to go over that information over and over and over and over, and over again. Even if you, you thought they have it, watch their technique. And if you see they're sliding back to the old way, make sure that you correct them. Because it's very important that, that you not get hurt. Now, I'm going to uh, sign off. But please, um, use that technique. Remember to slow it down, take real uh, short, calculated steps, take the weight off your hands and shoulders and arms, choke up on the walker so your belly is almost to the front bar, and arch your back and stand up straight. And take your time. You can do this. There's no rush. It's a very slow process anyway. So, And I would like you, when you do this, to give me a heads up. Let me know how it worked out for you. You can do that at BillLeaveIt1962 at gmail.com. That's BillLeaveIt, L-E-A-V-I-T-T, 1962 at gmail.com. And remember, folks, believe it. If I can get through this day with a big smile on my face and personal independence, true personal independence, just a baby step away, well, believe it. So can you. Thank you for tuning in, folks. I'll talk with you next time. Have a good night.